Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from moretesters.com. Today we got a quick look at the Jordan Rising High. So with that being said, let's go ahead, get right into it. All right guys, so here they are. This is a full on synthetic shoe. So what that means is that the entire upper here is a synthetic base or a synthetic leather. And then this little piece right here at the toe or the tip of the toe is actually a fuse. Now with synthetic materials, it's gonna take a longer time to break them in, but they're gonna be very durable and they don't stretch much. So better containment, they'll last a little bit longer. And again, the only cons to the material material is really that they just take a little bit of extra time to break them in. These feature flywire along the lacing system as well as what looks to be a Nike torch material at the collar as well as the tongue. This stuff is super comfortable. It's also breathable. I wish that they would put this type of material on more sneakers. An interesting feature that they have is the dual outriggers right here at the heel and then they have this mini one right here at the forefoot. The midsole is Phylon with the flight speed system so you got that unlock forefoot zoom air right there and for those of you that don't quite understand what unlock zoom air is I'm gonna tell you what it is right now. Basically, Zoom Air is inside of midsoles, you know what I'm saying? So whatever midsole shape there is, they core out the section or the shape where the Zoom Air is gonna be. In this case, this would be that shape. And then they place this within the midsole itself. So when you press on it or when you step on it, it, it compresses and deflects the energy. Now what Unlock Zoom is, is something completely different where it's not housed within a small cord cutout section of the phylon itself. Instead what they do is they cut out a complete hole in the phylon so there's literally a hole this shape you'd be able to see right through it if there was no you know flight speed plate and the uh, outsole attached. And then they'll put the, the zoom air unit inside of that they'll put the flight speed plate on top and then the outsole on the bottom and this basically allows that zoom air unit to compress and widen out as much as possible almost like a piston and then it's going to go back into its shape giving you a more spring-like feeling so it's absorbing most of the impact greater than normal zoom would and then it's returning that energy greater than normal zoom would as well and that's why someone like me when i say like i, I played in every type of zoom there is unlock zoom is my favorite it just feels the best that's why it's because it's doing the most it's reacting the most to your pressure or your movements so if you see a shoe like this for thirty dollars out an outlet grab the shoe you're gonna thank yourself trust me quick look at the traction pattern you got this diamond cut right here this stuff looks like it's gonna be awesome i've played in something similar in the jordan 14.5 and it worked really well both indoors and outdoors not really affected by dust much so i'm expecting the same from this and then one of the most interesting feature of the shoe is actually this little arch support right here this is built underneath the midsole itself and this is like a little plastic piece i just think it's kind of cool you don't see this much on shoes so instead of having a, a normal shank plate they actually got this little guy right there they also have the flight speed plate so they didn't even need to put that so this is just additional reinforcement for the arch so that's pretty much all there is to it this is the jordan rising high i'm going to be sending these over to our wear tester zach if you're not familiar with zach you're going to be able to reach out to him by clicking the link in the description box below it's going to head over to his channel you can go ahead and press sub or subscribe and give him about a week or so once he receives the shoes he'll test them out and then he'll give him a good performance review if you have any questions in the meantime all you got to do is drop me a line down below in the comment section so thank you guys for watching thanks for all your support and until next time guys have a good one